to be speaking with Congressman Payne of New Jersey's 10th Congressional District. Representative Payne serves on the Committee of Homeland Security and the House Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure. Welcome, Representative Payne. Thank you for speaking with me today. Well, thank you, Amanda, and thank you for having me. So why did you think it was essential to promote this challenge in your district? Well, I think it's essential to promote it so that students in my district know that it exists, number one. And I know lots of students who are interested in the technology and possible careers in technology. You know, many of them have big, have ideas for apps that could make a big difference to the people um, of my district and possibly the entire country. And I've just had a, a wonderful, wonderful experience over the last several years of having the young people do the app challenge. Challenge is a great way to encourage, you know, um, their interest in uh, digital technology and provide the community a great service in the process. Great. And why do you think students should participate in the app challenge? I think they need to take part because uh, it promotes their interest in technology uh, and encourages them to combine their creativity and their love of technology to create something that's beneficial to society. You know, it might be a new game or a better way for a city to provide emergency information to residents. So it might become so successful that it starts a new career or a new small business enterprise for them. Either way, it promotes and encourages their passion and helps the community at the same time. <laughs> I agree. Now, what do you believe to be the greatest issue in the STEM community today? And what can be done to improve it? I think the biggest uh, issue in the STEM community today is the lack of diversity in the STEM fields. Uh, there are not enough African-American or other minority students studying uh, STEM related subjects. Uh, history has proven uh, that minorities can make a tremendous difference when they are involved in STEM fields. Everyone is familiar with Mary Jackson, Katherine Johnson, and Dorothy Vaughan. They, are the, they were the highly skilled mathematicians who helped America put a man on the moon. And um, also, they made that great movie, uh, Hidden Figures, about them. Mm -hmm. But there are not enough, nearly enough, uh, minorities in STEM. Today, only 3% of American engineers are minorities. In addition, minorities represent less than 5% of computer scientists, slightly more than 5% of mathematicians, and less than 7% of scientists in other STEM-related fields. So this needs to be changed immediately. And this is one of the projects that can help that along. Well, Congressman, thank you for taking the time to speak to me. And for our viewers, the 2021 Congressional App Challenge is live. So students can register and submit their apps between now and November 1st. Thank you. Thank you.